Hey there, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Gonna put in a drip irrigation system. Let me show you how easy it is. Behind me is my tomato bed and I've been looking for a system to water this tomato bed that didn't require me to wet the leaves of the plants because when you wet tomato leaves, especially when they get a little bit mature, you will always have the risk of disease and fungal activity, early blight, things like that. You want to keep the soil from splashing up and you want to keep the leaves dry. That's how tomato plants prefer it. For many, many years as I've been gardening though, I have grown tomatoes and just hosed them down. And I've had good results, but I've also had early blight and I've had some various uh, fungal diseases. So I thought, well, this year I'll try, since I'm monocropping my tomatoes this time, I'll try a drip irrigation system. The system that I'm using is a cheap system I bought on Amazon. There are dozens and dozens of the same kind of system. They're made in China, made by you know a couple of manufacturers and branded under about 20 different names. The one I bought uses this rubberized kind of uh, vinyl tubing. It's about a quarter of an inch. It's not that big tubing that you punch holes in. It's just tubing that you can cut. And you can put these connectors in there that look like this. You just shove them in and the, em the emitters look like this and you can tighten this down and you can get a drip or you can get a spray. So let me show you how easy this is. To my water hose, which I've run over to my garden, I've connected the Y connector which comes with this kit and each Y connector, connector has a cap and a valve. And The cap contains two little connectors to which you can put this quarter inch tubing and you just slide it over the end of the connector. And then you run your tubing wherever you want it to go. And then at the end of a, a run where you want an emitter to go, you just cut it and slide it in. And they make these little stakes, you can stake them down. And that little gray cap is adjustable, kind of like the cap on a spray bottle. And you can get a stream or a mist or you can tighten it down and get a drip. And so I'll just run my line to each plant and drop down one of these emitters. And I'll just do this all the way down my garden. And the beauty of this is these all these pieces can be reused. Of course, your hoses get cut to the size you need, but you can easily order more hose. So I'm just doing this all down my garden on each side. I'm running this hose to the end. So here's the base of my plant. I'll just cut this right here. And then I'll take one of these emitters, and this is a little tricky part. First, I'm gonna tighten it down. And then I'm going to shove one end into the hole. And sometimes it's easier when you leave this out in the sun for a while and this rubber hose can kind of tighten up. Now, it doesn't always want to go on there easily. You need to get this part to go over that little, that little ridge. There's a little ridge that goes around there and that serves to clamp the hose on. And you can see that it's mostly over there. That's, that's pretty tight. If you have any trouble, you can get a pair of uh, rubber coated pliers or something and use that. I also found though that this portion of my scissors, this plastic part, I can use that to help me pull this up over the, the nozzle. And it does a pretty decent job. Okay, so that's in there. We'll do the other side. Now, some people I've found uh, online using this kind of a system have said you could lubricate this little, this little uh, nipple on which the hose goes. But lubrication works both ways, and the pressure in this hose might be too much. It could pop off. I don't want to mess with that. So I'll just use whatever tools I have to work this on to that little nozzle there. That should be fine. That's all there is to it. Now, the little system I bought also comes with these tiny little stakes. And so I can put this by my plant and drive a stake in and just clamp the hose there. That'll hold it in place. So, once again, another example. I'm right here by my plant, the base of my plant. So I'll just clip my hose, grab a emitter with a T. These, these things are little T, T pieces like that, and they just slip into your your emitter and you just tighten them down by friction. I'm going to close this one down. I'm going to have to come back and probably adjust all these once I put the water through it. 
but it's just an easy matter of shoving these on just like so I say it's easy some of these are pretty difficult to get on like I said you have to use a tool every now and then but sometimes you just kind of wiggle them around and they slide right on give it a little tug that ought to work take my little stake put this right here there we go all right I've got one more and it's the end let me show you what the end looks like at the end of your run you don't need a T you can just use one of these and uh, stick it straight in this kind of caps off the end and once you get this slid up over the little end of the nozzle there you're done And that's the end. So I have my hose coming off of this four nozzle manifold. And this is very convenient for me because I've got one hose that goes to my compost pile. This is the hose that's a general purpose hose. I watered the garden with this one. This one is now my irrigation system. And I have another one should I choose to use it or just need to you know, fill a bucket here. So I've run this just along my house. Comes along to the patio, goes behind this garden bed. And just passes right across my yard and so we can see that some of the nozzles are on and I need to adjust these now we have flow going to all our plants here and you have to come along and adjust everything to give you a little drip it's a little tricky adjusting everything because as you let pressure out down the line all the other nozzles react so far, I think we've got it balanced all the way to the end here. So, there we go. Okay, this little system seems to work. It takes a little tweaking here and there to get your pressure right. I blew my hose off of some of the connectors on three different of those little T connectors because it couldn't handle the pressure. So, when adjusting your nozzles, I've discovered it's nice to leave them all open when you pressure up your system and then come and crank them down. Uh, I'd start at the end and work back until you get the stream you want. And I'm looking at something like this. Just a small little stream, something like that. Yeah, there's a little splatter here and there, you can see that, but as these plants grow higher and higher, there will be no leaves down here to get wet. <sighs> yeah, so we're looking at a system where I don't have to come out and stand out here like a chump in the heat and water these things. That's good. All right, well, that's done. What's nice about a drip irrigation system like this is I can come back and I can mulch right over it because all I'm doing is soaking the ground down near the root balls and it'll soak and that will actually help keep some of the splash that's coming up off some of those jets, keep it down a bit. But yeah, we'll see if it holds up. That's always the big question. Will it hold up? Aside from what I've used in the kit, you get a whole lot of hose. You could do a lot of, a, a lot of, I could do a whole nother bed or two with the amount of hose you get. You get all kinds of different connectors, straight connectors, caps. You get these uh, little drip emitter type things and T connectors. And that's what I used, uh, these T connectors. They came in real handy. They give you zip ties. They give you some hose clamps so that you can uh, clamp the system onto a hose. Uh, I find this to be unnecessary. You get some Teflon tape. You get this nice four-way sprayer. You get these emitters that spray and mist. You get these emitters that spray that you can put on uh, and uh, go from overhead. So the, the little kit contains a lot of stuff and that's just the things I didn't use. Once I've proven the system works for me, I will add this timer at the faucet and I will be able to automatically water my garden without even coming outdoors. Well, there we have it. There's not too much to it. Short video just shows you how uh, you can get a $20 kit off of Amazon. And it's expandable. I could buy another $20 kit or just a bunch of that hose. And I could put sprinkler heads. I could put drip from above. There's all kinds of options with these little cheap kits. Before I do that, though, before I expand my system, I'm going to see how this holds up. I'm going to see how it holds up to different pressures. I'm going to let the heat of the sun beat down on it. And we're just going to see. I mean, $20, you get what you pay for, right? You never know. Let's give it a shot. 
Hey, thanks for joining me on Black Umbo Southern Gardening. We've got a lot of stuff coming up in the future. We're gonna show you how to plant an herb pot. We're gonna show you how to do a lot of things with these tomatoes. We're gonna show you how to trellis these things. And I'm gonna show you how to get some, uh, some uh, bees in your garden, some leaf cutter bees. I've got a real exciting video about pollinators coming up. So stay with us, like us, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Happy gardening, bye-bye.